hello guys uh, thank you for uh, dropping by so uh, today's lecture we'll be looking at how you could use uh, Microsoft uh, uh, movers how you could use mover to move your files from uh, your cloud storage from your on-premise server from your Google Drive account from your Dropbox how you could use that to move uh, successfully to uh, Microsoft uh, 365 that's for either the SharePoint or the OneDrive for Business, right? Uh, so, okay, so basically, uh, Microsoft and Movers had this uh, partnership uh, late 2019 on, uh, because Microsoft needed uh, a cloud uh, uh, migration platform that uh, could cater for the, the throughput and the traffic uh, needed uh, to cater for the migration services uh, uh, that comes along with uh, their products and listings. Right, so you could uh, take our time and visit the site uh, mover.io so you could read up on uh, all you need to know about uh, movers right uh, so just uh, to go down and show you the list of connectors that they support so let's click on this and we'll see the hold okay so these are the connectors that are supported supported the amazon s3 amazon work docs the amazon microsoft azure you can move your content from azure to uh, any of the service actually and you can move from your box account so these are the uh, services they offer and they come in connectors so we'd we'll see that uh, uh, along in this video right uh, so these are guides on how to go about this you could read this out so the purpose of this course is to run you through would make a demo uh, migration so you see how it works right uh, so you could uh, implement that for your organization always feel free to write me on uh, any assistance you need for any of the courses uh, on my page and I'll do well to respond to you uh, commensurately great so the first uh, step you take is to create an, uh, a mover account so uh, I would advise you do this one time because it only goes one time for each uh, Microsoft, uh, each, for each Office 365 domain. Because once you have uh, your Office 365 tenant and you've added the domain, so it requires for uh, an email address that's attached to uh, Microsoft uh, uh, tenants, right? So it would have to create an account and it's, it's allowed for only global administrators, right? Just to give this first uh, uh, permissions, right? So we hit on create account. It takes us to the account creation page, right? Just give it the time. It goes to this page. It loads up. Okay, it asks for an email ad address. So we put in our corporate email address I am a global admin so okay it asks for a password I give it the password it asks for a company name you put in your company name here Put in your account. What's the company size? Your contact number? No. Okay. Zero seven zero six seven four three four nine six five. Right. So once it's done, we can create the account. Very easy. Right. So it says you must activate your account. An activation link has been sent to the email address. That's fine. So we sign back into our email address. Open a new tab. Right, so I'll click on this email. I'll see the activation link here. Right, so I'll click on this to confirm the email address and activate the account. So once I click on this, it takes me to the activation page and voila, we're in. Right, so the application starts. So basically, the uh, first point of call is to. Okay, hold on. Did I forget to mention that this is uh, a free service? offered by Microsoft yes it's uh, free all the way right so this uh, the first step is to select the source for your migration and you select the destination right so each of these are cloud connectors so this is me trying to uh, 
I would want to authorize a connector so I'll choose where is my source connector right so I have a whole list of options so this is for uh, the OneDrive the personal OneDrive account then this is for OneDrive business account right uh, so this are uh, OneDrive or SharePoint this is for SharePoint sites and this if you have a Google Drive account a G Suite account a Dropbox right so for the sake of this tutorial I'm going for I would want to move uh, from our, our personal account to our OneDrive for business account right so let's authorize this so authorizing this means you would need to sign in right go in sign in you have to sign into that Microsoft account that you need access to so this is the account okay this is the password for my account okay well, access your car your authorization yes you need to authorize this action great yes no problem okay so this uh connector has been so i would see the list of files in my onedrive right these are the files i would want to move over here right select the destination right i need to manage this uh authorize new connector select my business account right select authorize for business single user authorize to require sign on I think I'm already signed into my business account okay so this right sign in great so the two connector the source and destination account right to this permission requested you're gonna yeah, the application is not published blah 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 so I'll consent on behalf of my organization. I can either leave this or check it. So I advise you check this as a global admin. So it makes it easy, easier for other admins to perform the same action. Right. So you once this is authorized, uh, it links up to the movers app. It goes back to the source and destination page. So you could make your right. So the next step. Uh, so great. So this is where I'm moving these files to here. To here, right? So the next step is to just go through this long partition on OneDrive. So every restrictions that happen on OneDrive still takes place, but the, the fun part is you get uh, a move log, a transfer log. So you get a migration log so you could check out what went wrong, what didn't go right, and you make those changes much later, right? So, but it has a 90% transfer uh, success. So if once everything is fine on the source, uh, this source location, everything should be fine. So the next thing is to start uh, your copy. So once we start this migration, this page uh, gives you the, the breakdown of your transfers, the how many uh, bytes, how many kilobytes have been moved, uh, the estimated time of uh, completion, right, and everything. So this is your dashboard for transfer. But every transfer you're making shows up here so you could check the transfer wizard right uh, migration manager this is your migration manager for uh, okay data move uh, issues no issues for now so this is the transfer progress it would be reading uh, as uh, as requested so this is fine this is running already so no issues I, I can choose to cancel this transfer I can choose to schedule the transfer right okay so this is uh, uh, action for the actions you could perform on any of them right let's say after running this and there were issues I could rerun the transfer for uh, other uh, check up or no right so that's it guys about uh, the transfer so you could try out other forms of uh, migrations yourself and uh, let me know what you found out if you have any issues do not uh, hesitate to uh, let me know as I am very much available to assist. Thank you very much for your time. I really appreciate it. And do have a nice time. Keep learning.